In a previous video, we discussed how to multiply numbers using an area model. Today, we are going to be using an area model to divide. Let me break it down for you. Multiplication and division are inverse operations. That is, one operation can be used to undo the other. Because they are related, we can use an area model to solve division as well. When we find the area of a rectangle, we multiply the length times the width to get the area. If we turned this into a division problem, it would look like this. The total area divided by one dimension equals the other dimension. For example, area divided by length equals width, or area divided by width equals length. Here's a division problem. 264 divided by 12. If we put this in an area model, it would look like this. The total is 264 and the width is 12. The missing number represents the length. If I label it using division terms, this is the dividend, this is the divisor, and this is the quotient, which looks very similar to the traditional long division box. I'm going to break my length into two sections. In the first section, I'll decide on a number that I can multiply by 12 that will get close to 264. I know that 12 times 20 equals 240, so I am going to label the first section 20. When I find the area of this section, I get 240. If the entire rectangle has an area of 264, that means the other section must have an area of 24. If this section has an area of 24 and the width is 12, then the length of this section must be 2, since 12 times 2 equals 24. If the length of the first section is 20 and the length of the second section is 2, then the total length is 22. That means that 264 divided by 12 equals 22. Here's another example. Let's take 95 divided by 19. The total area is 95 and the width is 19. I'll divide the length in two. 19 is a bit trickier to multiply, so to make it easier, I'm going to round it up to 20. If I count by 20s, I can count four times before I go over 95. 20 times four equals 80. Since the actual number is 19 though, I need to figure out 19 times four. I added one to 19 in order to round it up to 20. So for each time I counted by 20, I need to subtract one for the actual answer. We counted by 20s four times, so we can take four away from 80 to find the actual answer. 19 times four equals 76. If that method doesn't work for you though, you can work the multiplication out on the side. I'm going to label the first section of the length four, so the area of the first section is 76 because 19 times four equals 76. If the entire rectangle has an area of 95, that means the remaining section has an area of 19 because 95 minus 76 equals 19. 19 times one equals 19. So the length of the second section is one. When I add the two sections of the length together, I get a total length of five. 95 divided by 19 equals five. I hope that makes more sense. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.